Yo guys, what's up and welcome to a new video and this new episode of Mindland Coders. So guys, um, as you can see in the title, we are going to coding actually function block, how to use the function block. By the way, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more content about how to code and more tutorials and like this video if you like this and notify the bell so you won't miss anything and that would be great. All right, guys, so I won't talk too much. I will just start directly into the the video all right guys let's go to develop our mods so you just create a very very simple function block so how to use them okay first of all we're creating something i have no idea for example um let's say what instructions and then okay let's just go into the mission and then chat message if player is message equals we'll just use text box and then write something like um input which means um that's going in that is requesting something like you can write anything what you want i just put the inputs just wrote that and then the next thing we're gonna do is the call function and now we do nothing now we go to the next slot of the coding line we place the function block or the lapis block um you you can if you click here uh, you see it says function block because you're holding this one look it says function block we're gonna use variables then texts now we write um something like output output we're gonna do this now it says output and now if you go there on this function and call function block if you click on that you see uh, a rope i think a rope is it and if you hover that it says output which means it's this one so if you click that now it says output so which means um this block here is connected if you have multiply uh like this one and then one 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 right now you have three different blocks and if you click on that you see three different ropes the one says sffd or output or 111 we choose this one because this one is connected with this line then not with this or this right so that's how it works and now the next thing is we're gonna do an action let's do action for example send title and then default player something i have no idea all right let's choose something like hello world and then welcome player right let's do this and then give him an item i've no idea some item give him let's say an end of bar or something so which means uh we'll just confirm that is working all right this is the output and this is actually this one so why we okay now we first of all we test and we'll explain you guys let's go run and now we can do add input and now you see it got output it has an output i got the ender pearl and you saw the screen and parts that's working you see guys so that's how it works so now why should why do we use this function block at all because we can just put this two code blocks in this one why not directly doing this and why does it even exist so it's a simple question and a simple i can just answer you the simple way because this one will save you time and how it will save you time if you have a big code for example uh let's say you have a big code um and yeah guys so i i hope this was very clear yeah guys so i think this was easy to tell uh, by the way don't forget to subscribe like this video and don't forget to notify the bell so you won't miss anything so guys see you